Question. The astral and etheric concepts are difficult to grasp at first. Answer. Persist and have faith. There is much to learn. <clears throat> Indeed, there is much to learn. Going further, uh, talking about fireballs in the 50s, reported in various parts of the U.S. Hmm. Question. Are these fireballs dropped from your craft? What is their purpose? And here's a very interesting answer. <clears throat> the fireballs, what, meteors? The fireballs are nullifiers for certain radioactive effects which our scientists do not even know they are releasing. These nullifiers prevent the poisoning of your people and are released upon the orders of our Heavenly Father, Logos. We cannot intervene actively in the cessation of such experiments, but we do what we must do all possible to prevent the wanton destruction of human life resulting from these experiments. And the question is, it has been noted that the air <clears throat> contains a large percentage of copper after these fireballs have been seen. Answer, this is true. This is part of the fireballs' functions. For the most part, the fireballs are seen in the vicinity of atomic installations and laboratories, but not all fireballs are ours, and all do not have the same purpose. Okay, so you see, <laughs> it's very subtle. It's complicated. You cannot, one, one explanation does not fit all ever. Don't ever fall into that. So, there are multiple sources of so-called fireballs. There are multiple purposes for them. But the ones that at least these uh, purported confederation representatives, uh, connect connecting with uh, Mr. James here, Trevor, in the 50s, are saying is to prevent poisoning of the people and nullify radioactive effects. I imagine that's been done quite a lot since the 50s and uh, nuclear age.